So in those early days, it was all about adoption. It was all about getting all of those uh, website owners and marketers to use Google Analytics. After the first few years, um, the focus was on about features, getting better. One of the most groundbreaking features was, was called advanced segmentation. So the idea that you could simply slice and dice your data and only look at that segment or compare that segment with a different segment. You could do that in a matter of seconds. The user was able to do this because it was so simple and so straightforward and so obvious. So features like that were coming out uh, thick and fast around about yeah, 2009, 10, 11. And then you get to 2012 and that's when Universal Analytics came out. With a self-serve product and the documentation that you have has to be really top notch. It has to be very good. Otherwise people just get confused and get lost and there's always a danger that they will just abandon the product. Something I built was an internal um, uh, training tool um, to help uh, initially Googlers understand the product so that they could answer support questions for clients. It went on to be the Google Analytics individual qualification. So I'm very proud of that. And also, not only from a personal point of view, it was one of those rare moments in that early history of Google where a European team launched something um, that the Americans then took on board. And it was taken then to a, yeah, a, global, uh, a global phenomenon in terms of training. If you think about universal analytics, it's almost synonymous with the word analytics or any kind of web analytics. It, it's almost as if that's the only product out there and that's the only way to do it. So it, it's left a, a huge legacy uh, on, the, on the whole industry. Uh, the freemium model's been fantastic, giving all the way of the features for free, paying for more processing power, more heavy lifting. Uh, that was revolutionary. It's been transformative in terms of going from an industry size, which was what, maybe 30,000 users in 2005 to maybe 30 or 40 million uh, users these days. Analytics has obviously moved forward a lot in the 20 years that I've been in the industry. Um, what was essentially a one person's job in 2005, so you'd have someone that was uh, marketing the website would also do the analytics, for example. Um, now has become a multi-person job. It's just more complicated. So you, you have dedicated analytics implementers, and there are data engineers, there are privacy engineers, there are data scientists. I mean, it's become, certainly for large organizations, a whole team of people rather than just a one-man band. I think also that Google took, uh, has always had an eye on what Adobe does, Adobe Analytics, and saw their tool and said, yeah, we want to move much more into the enterprise market, less about the smaller sites that, yeah, the long tail adds up, it certainly makes a lot of money for Google, but I think, I think the attraction for um, the latest version of Google Analytics, GA4, is to be in the more enterprise market. The fact that uh, Universal was switched off and everybody had to move to GA4 was quite, um, it's quite a shock, I think. I think people weren't expecting it. It doesn't, doesn't feel quite ready. We started off with analytics tools being very IT focused. Google came along with Urchin and said, no, we don't want to do it that way. We want to focus web analytics very much at marketers because that's where the big budget is. That's where the money is. That's where websites sit. They're a function of marketing. So that, that revolution lasted 15 years. And the irony here is now we're moving away from marketers. And GA4 is, I think every marketer I've spoken to has said, well, how does this work? And this is very different to how I've done things before. Of course, change is always a problem. But it seems as if Google's decided, okay, analytics is no longer the tool for marketers. It, it's more of a specialist tool and you need specialist people with a, perhaps a specialist mindset and education to do this. So I feel like we've gone kind of full circle, not back into IT, but very much into a more technical realm, um, which is where we came from in the beginning. <laughs>